<coughs> Good morning. Hope I find you well. Um, so day four of my five day straight razor shaving experience. I'm trying to do five days straight with a straight. Um, and today, Parasso pre shave. Try something different. I'm going to try and face lather Mitchell's wool fat. Uh, and the razor this little gold dollar and there's a story behind this so let's start it's no um no secret i'm a bit of a fanboy of john june jj shaves and i've brought a number of razors off him i think his head is absolutely sublime uh, well, chit chat went back and forth, you know, it does, messenger and such. And uh, I said to him, oh yeah, I've got off a couple of stones. I'll have a little go now and again. And he said, oh, well, why don't you send me a razor? Hone it up, send it to me and I'll, I'll have a go with it. Of course, the Billy Big Nuts in me at the time was, yeah, that sounds like a great idea, you know. Someone of John's calibre, who, in my opinion, you know, for my use case, I put him up there with the top home masters. Personally, I mean, he'd never say that because he's a really humble chap, modest. So, but anyway, so got that gold dollar, honed it up. Yeah, yeah. So you know, he's gonna. Try my head, that'd be wonderful, blah, blah, blah. As soon as I popped it in the post, the reality of it hit me. My God, you've just sent off a razor you've honed. To, like I say, what I consider one of the top home meisters. Are you crazy? Of course. But, um, so off it went, and then the weight was on, and for the outcome, we're going to have to wait till Friday, I believe it's Friday, you can upload videos, to find out what he thought. And then he's put his new new edge on it and sent it back to me. I believe it's his, his new new edge. Um, yeah, it's got new stones and, and uh, a new method he's trying. So we're going to try that today. As you can see with Mitchell's, I don't have any problems, I know. People do have issues. Not for me personally. No, I live in Surrey. A bit more water. But uh, yeah, the water seems okay. I get a nice lather. So yes, JJ Shaves, Friday video, see what he thinks of the edge. Ooh. sent it I was like yeah and then once I posted it I was like whoa what have you done <laughs> I suppose I've maybe done 15 or 16 razors across the stones 
and I, I, I do it for fun. I really enjoy it. Um, okay. So straight out of the box, wipe the oil off, and that's it. So let's see how this feels. Four hours growth. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> That's good. real good very smooth very nice
Yeah, the blade is obviously sharp, but very, very smooth. Mitchell's wall fat, that I find very good soap to be honest. The scent for me is just a clean, fresh, soapy scent, but it's slick. which is what you want in the soap, that's for sure. Especially when using a straight. So, you've got yourself a straight razor. I would definitely recommend JJ John Dewan, JJ Shaves. Find him on Facebook, YouTube. Because you can certainly put an edge on a blade. Not down at hand. I'm a gold dot. That could have been disastrous. If I pulled this hand down, I caught the handle. Something you need to be aware of, obviously, when you're maneuvering around your face, what you're doing with both hands.
that's nice. Yes, yeah, a smooth blade, that's for sure, but definitely getting the job done. Oh, blunder there. Isn't it? Yeah, Mitchell's wall fats are hard soap, it's triple milled, I think. So one puck will last you a long time, but it is for me definitely a very good soap, that's for sure. for being the brightest scent. Wow, that's against the grain. Very, very nice. I've got a number of razors, two JJ short ears, and a number of vintage razors off of John. And all of them have always been wonderful edges. But for a gold dollar, well, What I mean by that is they're fairly inexpensive razors and not the best steel in the world. And that is close. <laughs> Okay, but uh, myself personally, I'd be better to dry off because otherwise, if I can't put a grip on my neck. preference but I don't like putting alum on my fingers and then onto my skin and then getting it on the brush or maybe on the razor again that's just a personal preference 
Obviously, if you find that works for you very well, excellent. to this malarkey so but also get some hydration in your ladder I think that is definitely a good thing problem unless the toughest part of my whiskers I'd say one of them dominant hand so that's why I don't whip that round that side.
That's a nice shave. Okay, that's taken long enough. What I'll do is uh, I'll get back for a quick post, I hope, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Cheers. Right, the post. <coughs> we used Paroso White. We used the Yati, quite nice, I like that brush. 24, that knot. Um, Alum, very nice. Bracing, no stinging in fact. Or bracing. Uh, Thayer's Cucumber, very, very nice. Mitchell's Wall Fat, I find this a very good soap. And for me it's not, not tricky to lather. And of course, the little gold dollar. I sent it to John, he tried it, put it across his stones and then sent it back to me. If you see this John, what a shave. Very nice mate, the edge is very very nice indeed. I like it a lot. So if you need a razor honed people, look him up, JJ Shaves Facebook. Or JJ Shaves on YouTube as well, his videos are. And for the results, watch his video Friday, see what he thought of the edge I put on it. Hmm, that'd be interesting. <laughs> um, so, I think that's about it. Tomorrow, am I going to get shaving tomorrow? Yes, am I going to get it filmed? I don't know. It's what they call here an inset day. Inset. So next week's half term for the children, they've got five days off. So uh, they have an inset day, which means they have tomorrow off as well as the five days. So I have a seven year old running around here like a lunatic and filming, shaving and not getting my house burned down. That's gonna be tricky, but um, I see, hope so. Uh, if you stay till the end, Thank you very much for watching. Um, I know these drag on a bit, but I enjoy doing them. So thank you very much and see you soon.